Mr. Harper. Blood pressure is one of the most important procedures done in clinic. Although many patients have their blood pressure measured using poor technique or inaccurate blood pressure devices. High blood pressure or hypertension is a modifiable risk factor for heart disease and stroke. However, only about 50% of all U.S. patients with hypertension and perhaps 60 to 70% of treated patients have their blood pressure controlled to goal in the office setting. As clinical staff, we can do better. Accurately measuring blood pressure can help prevent overtreatment, such as in patients who have white coat hypertension, where out of office blood pressures are normal, but office blood pressures are elevated. Hypertension is diagnosed only after having multiple elevated readings with devices that are confirmed to be accurate. The purpose of this training is to improve the accuracy of blood pressure measurement, which will help in the accurate diagnosis of hypertension. Blood pressure is commonly measured in clinic in one of three ways. When a patient is first seen in clinic, a single blood pressure measurement, also called in-office, usual, or routine blood pressure measurement, is taken using an automated device or auscultated using a stethoscope. The guideline quality observed office blood pressure goal is less than 140 over 90 millimeters of mercury. If the initial reading is 180 over 110 or higher, then the patient is diagnosed with hypertension or high blood pressure. If the initial office observed blood pressure measurement is greater than or equal to 140 over 90, a patient should have an automated office blood pressure or AOBP measured. AOBP measures a patient's blood pressure three to six times separated by one minute using a commercially available validated automatic blood pressure device that averages the reading. AOBP should always be checked with the patient in complete isolation. This procedure reduces white coat hypertension by up to 80%. When measuring a patient's automated office blood pressure, AOBP, the patient should avoid talking, reading, or television slash video viewing and should sit in a back supported chair with their feet flat on the floor with legs uncrossed. You should make blood pressure measurements using the same arm each time, typically the one with higher blood pressure. The cuff should be wrapped snugly around the bare arm with lower edge one inch above the elbow crease. Support the measured arm on the table or pillow so that the middle of the cuff is level with the middle of the sternum. Okay, Mr. Harper, keep both feet flat on the floor. Don't use your phone or read anything. This will make sure we get a more accurate blood pressure measurement. The machine's gonna take three readings about 30 seconds to a minute apart, and then I'll be right back to grab those readings. Do you have any questions? Sounds simple enough. Okay. If the automated office blood pressure average is greater than or equal to 135 over 85, rather than greater or equal to 140 over 90, the next step may be to perform out-of-office blood pressure monitoring with a 24-hour ambulatory blood pressure monitor or with home blood pressure monitoring. The appropriate blood pressure cuff size depends on patient arm size. Blood pressure should be measured halfway between the elbow and the acromion process of the shoulder. If the patient's arm circumference is less than 9 inches, use a small adult cuff. If the patient's arm circumference is 9 to 13 inches, use a standard or regular adult cuff. If the patient's arm size is 13 to 17 inches, use a large adult cuff. If the patient's arm size is greater than 17 inches or cone-shaped, they may require a wrist cuff. Automatic electronic devices may be inaccurate in some patients, including the elderly, patients with severe chronic kidney disease, CKD, or diabetic patients due to having very stiff arteries. Some obese patients may also have conically shaped arms, greater arm circumference at shoulder than elbow, which can cause inaccurate measurements. Patients should not measure their blood pressure under the following conditions. They feel that it might be high or they are stressed. They have exercised heavily or eaten a large meal within two hours. They have consumed caffeine or smoked within 30 minutes. They are watching television, reading, or talking, or they need to empty their bowel or bladder. Home blood pressure cuffs vary in their accuracy. Validated home blood pressure cuffs have been assessed by expert organizations. To confirm the accuracy of a patient's home blood pressure device, simultaneously measure blood pressure on one arm with the patient's device and on the other arm with the office device, which has confirmed accuracy. Then switch each device to the opposite arm and repeat the blood pressure measurement.
Compare the average of the two readings from each device, meaning the averages of right and left arm of each device. For the patient's home blood pressure cuff to be accurate, the difference should be less than 5 millimeters of mercury for both systolic and diastolic blood pressures.